This is pretty. I need to go out now. All right, it's haircut time again. I can't stand it. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I just know I need some of this off. So don't judge me. This is what happens. I can't stand it and then I cut it. Yeah, I feel like I could cut about that much off. Let me take some out of this section. I don't care. It's just hair. <laughs> that rhymes. Now I'm gonna find my guide. There it is. That's not enough. I need more. And I don't care if it's a straight line. Let's see. It's very, very backwards. This is why I never teach you guys how to cut hair because I go by feel. I'm not like a precision cutter. I would not be a good teacher. Just go by feel and already that looks better. Whew. Let's add more. You can already feel it is in my dress. You see that? That's gotta go. So I'm bringing it to the middle. I'm directing it so I can actually see it. And then I'm blending the front to the back. And I'm getting more lift here because I'm doing that compared to here, you see? That to me looks better than this. Now, it's always trickier to do the other side. <laughs> and I'm sure it's not even guys, like go see a professional. But you've asked me to show you and I'm gonna show you. Professional actually got into my haircut. They would probably laugh and give me trouble, but that's okay. It's my hair and I can do what I want. Let's see what that does. Everybody asks me what to ask for when they want my haircut. It really is just a layered haircut. The key is where do you want the layers to start? That's what you have to tell your hairstylist or what your hairstylist has to figure out. Where do you want that first layer to begin? So if you're the type of person that doesn't want volume up here, then maybe you would want your hair all one length because then it, the weight of it would lay it down flat. For me, I want volume up here, and it also doesn't matter to me as much about putting it up because my ponytail will definitely feel different after this haircut. I am so hot right now. <laughs> this is why I always wear tank tops, because I'm so hot. All right, and again, there's just a little bit of hair there. And let's see where it's landing. See, I feel better with that. I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss anything, which you'll be able to see that I really did. And that's okay. And honestly, guys, I do this myself because I don't care. I've had my hair extremely short before. I've had a pixie cut. I actually really liked it. And I've had a bob. I am probably making this look ridiculous. You would think I was, but I'm not. Yay. And I don't have my glasses on, so it's extremely hard. And I'm cutting my hair in a phone camera. <laughs> also really hard. And I'm sweating like crazy. As I get to the back, I don't want it really, really layered. I want it layered, but I don't want it to look choppy. That's why I'm bringing it all up to the top. But if you wanted to have more layers, it would be very hard to do it on your own because then you would have to actually, let me show you. If you wanted more layers through the bottom and the back, you would actually have to hold it on a different angle, like, like this and take some of that out. And don't cut your hair in a good dress because now I have hair slivers everywhere. I have a garbage can right here, by the way. You know you need a haircut when you wear it up all the time. So it looks like I've cut a lot of hair, but my hair's still really long. I am afraid to look at the back, I usually am. Not crazy afraid, but I do realize that it could be a disaster back there. It's okay. I'm gonna try this for now and see if I feel better. So my first layer, guys, lands about here. You see? That gives me all the lift right in through there. Let me style it, it will look so much better. Layering my hair just took some weight off my neck. So I'm really hoping that I can keep it a little bit longer by doing that. But if it doesn't work to cool me off, I'm gonna cut it. I'd rather be comfortable than have long hair. I'm just finishing it off with a big curling iron. I just wanna smooth out the ends so you guys can see exactly where everything is. Right now it looks kind of fuzzy because I rough dried it and then I cut it and I don't have any product in it. 
Running a hot tool through it will make it shiny like this. And it will just lay down your cuticle. You know a new tree has nice shiny bark and the older tree has bark that kind of fluffs out a little bit. Picture your cuticles being like that. And what we're doing is using the heat to smooth those pieces of bark down. This is my third section and I'm pretty much up here. This is a Thermal Protector Perfect Defense by Moroccan Oil. It smells delicious. My clients would always walk out the door with this. It smells so good. It doesn't have hold. Just spray it a little bit each time. The amount of time you hold it depends on the temperature, the quality of your hair. Oops, I got a curl in there. Let go, there we go. Do you want a tight curl or do you want a loose curl? Is it fragile? If it's fragile, be careful. Mine's in pretty good shape. Now we're up to the shorter pieces, but they're not that short. The hair that you haven't curled kind of bounces away from the other. I haven't curled my hair in a long time, actually. I've gotten lazy. And I don't want a lot of curl up here, so this is where I always get kind of flustered. I want to bend, but I don't want it to be frou-frou. So I'm going to lift it like this and hope <laughs> that it goes well. Oh, I lost it. I want it to look like it belongs, but I don't want it to be curly. It's like running scissors on a ribbon. Oh, see that worked out. Okay, is that a straight piece? Mm, yep, a bugger, a runaway. All right, I think I got it tighter over here. Let me do this one. All right, so now that it's all done, we can see that this piece here lands right here and that's where my head curves. So if you want this style, that's about where you wanna go with your first layer. I'm so glad that worked out. That's the first time I've tried to talk through and I know I made mistakes. I know that it's uneven, it's not perfect. I don't care. You can see that when I style it, you don't see any bits and pieces that are longer or shorter than the other. And really, that's all that matters to me. So I wanna say that as a hairstylist, the best thing that a client could do was bring in a photo of what they wanted. Don't go in with the name of a haircut because my version of something versus somebody else's version of something might be completely different. Photos mean everything. Even if you just show your hairstylist the last bit of this video to show where the layer stops and starts, like this one here is about my cheekbone. That's really what's important. So I hope this helps everybody and I will see you later. Bye.